when it comes to promoting our culture and ensuring the sustainability of our cultures, the teaching of the local languages to our kids or the passing on of our local languages to our kids is so important. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you tips on how you can teach your kids the local language. So I am Brenda Musoro, your host, and I am with Family Vision. So at Family Vision, I share my experiences about the culture, I promote the local language, and I've been a missionary for years, and I've moved around Cameroon, and this is an opportunity or platform for me to just share some of the things I've learned over the years. So the first thing you need to do as a parent if you want your kids to know the local language it is to be intentional this is so important for you because if you are not intentional you are going to give up on the way because this journey is a very challenging journey you know you're going to give up on the way especially when you observe your child start speaking a language you don't understand they may start in the mother tongue they, they continue in english and end in french it can be so frustrating and you know, many parents have given up at this stage because they don't understand what is happening some of them are frightened they feel like oh this is uh, the child will not be able to to speak English or they will be able to speak any of the languages so it frightens them so your intentionality is so important and because many of us out there we don't even see the importance that's why we don't see the need to to teach or to pass on our local languages to our kids second thing that you should do as a parent is to make it a fun thing bring in songs you know kids love singing they love songs those that are teachers you can tell me more about it children love to sing and so you need to bring some of the songs that you have been taught as a child in your local language you know and through these songs you can be able to interpret it to them and tell them what it means so make it a fun process for your kids by teaching them the songs that you already know in your mother tongue or if you have tapes in your mother tongue you know recorded tapes or songs that have been recorded let them listen to it and through it you have the opportunity to tell them more about your culture and more about the language and for those of you who can tell stories you can also tell short stories you know in our local languages there is a way that a story is being told for instance in my local language when you want to begin a story you say twang and the people who are listening to the story they say yeah you know those are some cultural vibes some great things in the culture that you need to teach your kids you know you tell them and the great thing about this culture is that every in in most of the stories they have a song or they have something that is so fun that is captivating to these kids and they will definitely enjoy the process of learning the next thing that I would like to tell you if you want to do is to keep speaking this language at home. You know, most of us learned either the English language or the French language or our mother tongues just by listening to others, just by listening to our parents, just by listening to our siblings and every other person around us. So that's the same way your kids can learn faster you know learn it in an organic way you can just learn by just listening to you it's like the best way for them to learn the local language because they learn by acquiring the language you don't necessarily need to go to a classroom to learn and it's somewhat the easiest way for them to learn just by you speaking at home last tip that i can give you is to find a literacy teacher you know in our communities out there, there are so many languages have been developed by organizations like Qatar, like SEAL, like many others. They have developed our languages, so our languages have the alphabet, the dictionary, the you know, a lot of literature, a lot of books that you can use to teach your kids. You can hire either a teacher to come and teach your kids and in that for those of you who don't even know to speak the language that's also an opportunity for you to learn the language during that time 
and some of us belong to country meetings for those of you who don't know what country meeting is country meeting is like a, a tribes meeting people who belong to for, the, for those of you who are in Cameroon you understand clearly what country meeting is but if you're out there and you don't know country meeting uh, for instance if you are an American maybe an American based in Cameroon so a country meeting for you will mean a meeting a monthly meeting where all Americans meet to talk about the, their country to talk about what concerns Americans what concerns your people or how to live better in the community where you are so in the cities and the towns where the different people are we have so many country meetings and in this country meeting you can organize like uh, during the holidays you can organize holiday literacy classes for your kids for them to learn more about your culture and learning about your local language if you gain some value in this video please give me a like and please help to subscribe to this channel so that i can be able to produce more content and i have a question for you before i leave and my question is what are some of the strategies that you use at home to teach your kids the local language you may have some other strategies that i have not mentioned in this video please let me know in the comment section